Hi everyone, today we face off the propeller launcher against a football field. This is a big challenge, and to make the propeller launcher hop to the task, I made multiple improvements to the launcher, including an RPM sensor. RPM is one of the only variables that the launcher actually controls, therefore measuring it in order to optimize the launcher's performance is important. In order to pick up the output shaft's rotation, I chose to use a Hall effect sensor. They use the passage of a magnetic field to trigger a pulse. They are small, easy to integrate, cheap, and they have a very low response time, meaning I can measure high RPM with them. I made this test rig to figure out what would be the optimal spacing between the sensor and the magnets on the shaft, and connected it to an Arduino at Mega, way overkill for this testing, but still allowed me to test the overall concept and programming. Of course, I didn't want my final design to look like this, so I designed a custom PCB. I started out with the schematic with the displays, including a button, headers, and pushed it out onto a layout to put my traces and to find the shape of the PCB, and pushed it in 3D mode, all of that using Fusion 360, which allowed me to then design my case. So let's build this thing. So now all I need is the custom PCB to be made for me. And that's where my new sponsor comes in, PCBWay. PCBWay has manufactured the custom PCB as well as assembled all the SMT and Truel components on the PCB. I'm really glad they did because I'm not really good at soldering and the quality of their work is flawless. They also offer other services such as CNC machining and 3D printing, with many types of capabilities which will surely prove useful in my future projects. Thanks to them and check them out. So for the final design of the RPM sensor, I chose to use an Arduino Nano. It has everything I need and connects through the two 15 pin headers on the PCB. And here is the final assembly for the two boards connected together. I then connect the wires that will go onto the Hall effect sensor using the screw on terminal insert them through the case, and then insert the PCB assembly into the case. I secure it using a couple bolts, and then I can install the top lid on. It includes a protective screen made out of clear PLA as well as an integrated button. I then install the hardware to mount everything to the launcher, and voila. This is the new output shaft. It integrates a carrier for the two magnets, as well as a new metal ball bearing and connections to be able to change the pinion gear. Everything is pushed into the case. The press fit makes sure that any clearance is minimized. And this is the final new output case. This is the new propeller connector. It has been redesigned to release the propeller as smoothly as possible minimizing any friction that may slow down the propeller when it is released from the launcher. As you can see, it's extremely smooth. This is the Hall Effect Sensor bracket. It connects all the wires firmly to the sensor, and it is simply pushed in through the side of the output case. This completes the RPM sensor build, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was actually my first uh, custom electronics project. I'm really happy about the result. 
Now for a quick demo, when you turn it on, the sensor will show you the live RPM values. A short press will switch to the high mode, the highest recorded value, and you can reset that with a long press. Then there is the pulse mode, which will show you the count of pulses, and that's very useful if you want to confirm the gear ratio equipped. You will see two times the gear ratio because we have two magnets. I then did a correlation test to ensure that the sensor was accurate because otherwise the data is worthless. So as you can see, the reference sensor on the left tracks pretty well with my sensor on the right. And then to accurately visualize this data, I created a graph. And here we can confirm that the two sensors basically track one another really well. The only difference is the polling rate, which is much higher on my sensor. I then did a baseline run for maximum RPM, which is what we want to maximize with the five inch prop. So as you can see, the maximum RPM reached was fairly consistent at about 11,000. I then lubricated the whole gearbox and did the same test again. There was a very significant increase of about 12% in speed, and that translates to the square in terms of energy to 25% increase. And now it's time to face off the launcher against this football field. This is a Canadian football field, meaning it measures 110 yards from goal line to goal line, or 100 meters. Let's see how it fares. I gotta say, I was extremely impressed by the speed at which the propeller flies off. And, boy, this is quite hard. You see, after a few runs, I've been able to pick up the propellers in the back of the field, and they actually flew way past the goal line. Probably about 10, 20 meters behind it, as you can see from the footage here. Now, this is the ultimate shot. I used a smaller propeller, which spun to almost 16,000 RPM, and here is the footage from the drone camera. You can see the propeller flying really high, and then starting to droop and pass behind that light post onto the soccer field behind the football field. Here is the footage when I picked up the propeller, and as you can see, in the back here, this is where I launched it from. I used Google Map to verify that the distance of the football field was 100 meters and then measured the launch to 167 meters. So I'm very happy with how this project turned out. The RPM sensor works well and gives us insight that is very valuable to optimize the launcher. It makes it look even more badass too. In the next video, we're going to try to hit the speed of sound with this thing, which is going to be really fun. I also want to thank my friend Sean from Woodspark Design. He helped me with the drone shots and make this very cool mug for me. He actually offers through Woodspark Design many engraving services as well as other customization services, so please do check him out. There's a link to his website in the description.